Hello. Okay, we're live now. Hope you can hear me. Hello. Oh, wow. I have a lot of viewers already and I have my guests. So um, I'm going to ask him to send me a request all over again because I have to introduce him. First of all, welcome to the show. I'm Kuri Irani and this is Off The Pitch. It's something that Manjapada approached me and they said, why don't we do this? Why don't we connect with the fans? There's such a dearth of you know, entertainment out there. People are hungry for football. So what better way than to connect with the fans? And the players have agreed to do that. So my very first guest, of course, you all know who he is. So he's actually sent a request, um, but I'm going to try and get him. Can you send me a request again? Because I need to have you. You're not, your request doesn't show over here. But he is known as Goody all his time over here. So I was talking to him yesterday and, you know, just briefing him about what we're going to do. And I said, how do you want me to address you? And he says, just call me Goody. I like that. So we're just going to call him Goody. So Goody, send a request and I can have you live on Off The Pitch. That's the show. Everybody watching, all the Hero Indian Super League fans, everybody in Manjapala, this is an amazing initiative that we're doing. I really hope you guys support me and I really hope all of you fans and y'all are known for this. Y'all are known for the sheer volume and the sheer noise that you can make. So make some noise. This is Off The Pitch and I will get you all your favorite footballers from... Kerala Blasters, as much as I can, I'll really do it. So come on, together we can make this a success. So we're still waiting for Goody to come on. Let me see if he's he's here. Uh, stay where you are, because he's about to come on. Uh, can't see his request though. He needs to... Okay, oops, I can't see that Goody hasn't sent a request yet. Goody, can you send me a request and then I can accept it and I can get you on? Because there's so many questions I already have for him. Okay, there's so many people who've requested to be live. Okay, got it. Go. So everyone in Manjapara, this is our first time. So please forgive us if you do anything wrong. Goody, hi. How are you? I'm very good. How are you? Welcome to Off The Pitch. Thank you. It's nice so to exciting be here. to have you. Thank you. And thank you so much. I'm speaking on behalf of me and on behalf of everyone from Manjapada. Thank you so much for agreeing to do this. I know how much planning has gone into it and you're a man of few words. So all of that is going to change today. Welcome. Thank you. Lovely to be so, here. Uh, it's been, uh, what, two years since I was in Kerala? And I want to come back. I was almost <laughs> back to uh, in December 2018 when uh, David James left. So I was almost back, but uh, I'm hoping one day I can return and say hi to everyone. I'm, I'm sure the fans feel the same way because there are already messages that are coming in saying, we miss you, we miss you, we miss you. More than anything else, that's what everyone's saying. They're all saying hello to you in their local language. So... You can just, Goody, come on, let's start, because this is Manjapada's handle. So let's start with Namaskaram Kerala. Namaskaram Kerala. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, you did that. So first of all, uh, through all of these trying times and these, this situation that we all find ourselves in right now in the world, how are you handling this? How is it going back then? I'm guessing you're in Iceland right now. Yes, I'm in Iceland at my home. And Iceland has been handling the situation really good. It's been a few, few deaths, and uh, I think 1,800 has got sick in Iceland. But we are an island, so we, got to, we closed the country for tourists and everything. So it's been in a lockdown for two months now. Mm -hmm. So it's been strange. I've been out running here outside my home. Uh, we've not been training or doing anything, social distancing, all that. So it's been weird, weird two months, but... You know, it, with every bad yeah. situation, something good come, comes out of it. I've been more, uh, spending more time with my family and at home and making my home. You know, we've been building this home for three years, so I had more time to finish that project. And it's been a lovely time, actually. Oh, it's amazing. All right, so before 
can start sending in questions i you know when you just mentioned right now that you were getting your home done up i am so excited to see if you're you know doing something special with a garden or something because i know as a football player you want to kick a ball around especially you have a 10 year old boy so you want to kind of you know have fun yes. around the place and make it as entertaining i can oh, walk around i think it's <laughs> i think it's already outside playing i can show you from the park and i need oh, to this, turn this is around. a treat this is a treat for me and everyone from manja but we're going to get to see goody's house and his garden his kid kicking a ball can we see that Thank and this you. is my son alexander he's playing outside all right let's take a look he's down there okay a big shout out to alexander from everybody in india and everybody in manjapara this is so amazing hey he's saying hi to us <laughs> alex thank you hi Hi. Wow. <laughs> Hi Alex. So oh, it's so good to see Guri. Maybe some day when we do another Insta live with you I'll get you to kick a ball around the garden. But today, yes. let's sit you down because all the questions from the fans are going to be coming in. So Guri sit down, put the phone away cuz everybody's just going viking clap. I wonder why. Why does everyone just say viking clap when they look at you? Why? I think it's because uh, the first game <laughs> we won, I actually was asked to do the viking clap. Yeah. And we had done it the Icelandic no. national team had done it a lot of times when they uh, were in the World Cup and stuff like that. So I I mean the Viking clap in Kerala was probably the best Viking clap I've ever seen because the fans were so amazing. It was how many were in the stadium and they all took part of it. It was great. You know, seriously, I have I have goosebumps even now and every time you're in Kochi, don't you just get goosebumps? I mean the first time I was there I I think I was maybe traveling for 30 hours or something and I woke up to first training and the day after that was the first game so I didn't know what I was going into I mean the first okay. game I knew Herman had told me it's great fans great area lovely town all that but didn't know what to expect so the first game when we were driving to the stadium and we were just driving through thousands of thousands of fans <laughs> and i I'm, i promise you it was the best time of my career was in kerala and it's because of the fans they were so good there were so many and when you walked into the stadium the noise and i mean it gives me goosebumps goosebumps thinking about it right now so it yeah. was a lovely time for me yeah i can only imagine i mean You know, coming to India was the first time you played outside of Europe. I'm correct. Yes. And uh, and plus the climatic difference. You're coming from a cold country into hot and humid Kerala. I'm sure you had your <laughs> apprehensions. What made you choose to come here? Uh, Herman, uh, the Icelandic yeah. assistant coach. Yeah. We had played together. or train together in the national team and when he was playing in England he was playing training in the summer with my club in Iceland when i was a young kid so we knew it still each other from maybe 20 years back or something yeah and when he found me i was a, i just said yes i just want to come to india i thought it was really exciting but i knew what it was hot and everything but i promise you the first game it was such a shock for me because the heat was <laughs> i went from minus <laughs> 10 degrees in january in iceland to plus 30 or something so it's 40 degrees difference okay and when i played my first game i think in half time i just laid in a pool an ice bath i just laid in there to cool down in half time i'm not <laughs> i've never done that before so it was a big shock for me but i got used to it after four games or something you know uh, someone called just for kbfc has sent a message saying once a blaster always always a blaster do you agree yeah absolutely <laughs> um i want my dream is to take my family there to show them what i experienced you know and they followed me and many icelandic friends and family they all followed me through you know but they never saw what i saw mhm they experienced so i want to take them there and show them around maybe you'll get that opportunity so i'm shouting out right now to all the fans who've tuned in with us get your friends to tune in as well and send in your questions all these 
hellos and hi and i know you miss him he's reading your messages good on they miss you and they want you to come back we know all of that but now i need the questions to come in otherwise i'll keep asking my questions so someone sent in one question which is goody if you had to describe kerala in one word what would you say one word only uh amazing i think i think it's okay. a big word because it you can't it's really hard to ex- describe something in one word but i would go for amazing because everything i i saw everything i did was amazing so yeah. it was a really good good time for me in my life in kerala Okay so you came in um, season 4 you know this was a very unexpected thing because you came in as a replacement to one of the other players and it was very very you know exciting for all the fans actually someone's message saying that in the entirety of season 4 your goal was his favorite goal i'm getting those messages right now live on the handle but how was the experience for you you were playing alongside west brown and berba so tell us about that um first of all to start with my, our season in Iceland ends in September and then we got holiday until 1st of January so when i'm arriving in kerala i haven't played a game for 5 months so i wasn't in in the shape to play 90 minutes a game and the sad thing about it i want to stay longer because i was finally getting fit when i went yeah. home yeah so i think i could have done more for the team if if uh, i had played more and been there longer but obviously playing with childhood heroes like west brown and perpatov was amazing uh first training uh after the flight i woke up and i'm put one against one against perpatov which i've been watching in tv and i've been a manchester united fan for all my life and there i am with two what <laughs> one of the biggest stars of manchester legends. united so legends, legends of man legends. united yeah and for me it it was uh, unbelievable time and uh, west brown especially was uh, it was so surprising how great character he is and he was always and, and ready so to humble teach so humble and so yeah. friendly and so down to earth and i know when i met him for the first time I made aloo parathas which is a typical indian bread dish. I sat and made like he came into the kitchen with us and you know in in the hotel and he was t- talking to the young indian boys and I said you really can't tell he's brownie the the guy you're thinking about west brown wasn't like yeah. that at all right Exactly he was always ready to teach everyone and tell stories from Alex Ferguson and all those big players and it was just a lovely time for me to hear all the stories and you know learn from him how to be a yeah. better teammate and i took a lot from that experience so he's a great man and i like him. yeah of course okay so there's another question it's from ashwant r2d2 he says what did you feel after scoring the first goal against atk in the 33rd minute just tell us about that feeling that when you scored the goal for kerala yeah i mean i think I had been hitting the posts a little bit, you know, my game form wasn't I wasn't <laughs> in shape. And yeah. I always like in the post all that. And then when I finally scored, it was uh just a really happy feeling and you know all the players coming celebrating with you and the fans went crazy and all that. Yeah. And I was the for- first Icelandic player to score in the Indian league, so that was a great yeah. yes, uh, thing yes. for me and uh all over i wanted to score more goals yeah uh when i when i went home i was like ah oh, i could have scored like five goals i would be happy with that but this one goal was was a good goal and and just when i look back it makes me happy wow you know i don't want to put you on the spot but i'm going to put you on the spot because i love doing that especially to football players so How often goody do you go back and keep watching that video of you scoring that goal and more importantly how often does your son Alex have to watch that I think before games I I like to watch maybe 3 years back 4 years back of my goals it keeps really? me motivated and especially when you're having hard times you're not scoring or something I look at myself scoring goals 
it helps me before games to see okay i can score like this yeah it's it's, it's motivational right yeah yeah and obviously my son uh, i'm trying to help him to become a better player so i show him the goals and i try to help him okay. a lot okay goody i think there's something wrong with your network because it seems to have stalled um we got you back we got you back we got you back okay so i'm going to move okay, on good, good, good. um yay okay so here's another toughy Tough, tough question. Mr. Infinity. Ig wants to know which is your best moment with KBFC. Was it the goal? I think it was the first victory because when I arrived, it had been uh, a little struggle with the team. We weren't. Yes. The top four wasn't in the picture. Yes. But while I was there, I, we mm. only lost one game, and it was the last game. And we had a yeah. tremendous. period of time where we were winning drawing and i think it was the first win because everybody was so happy and the fans were so happy and we were outside the stadium everybody wanted you know autographs and all that so i think it was the first win absolutely uh, there are a lot of tough questions coming in goodies i hope you're prepared for this because and again these are not my questions these are all the fans there's someone called Shagiri who wants to know if you could choose one young talent from India who would it be I don't want to be in your place right now okay go on young indian player okay what well, the only team i follow is kerala blasters and the name i keep hearing <laughs> is is messi and he has, he has the name of <laughs> lionel messi so i mean you can't see the game from iceland it, i can't see it in the tv but i can mm-hmm. follow it through text you know from twitter and instagram and stuff like that mm-hmm. so it's hard for me to look at the games itself and goals and stuff like that but how how young is messi were they talking about a young indian player indian talent okay let me think this one through and uh, an answer in uh, in a couple of minutes <laughs> fine so while you're thinking of one young indian player i'm going to ask you another question which i don't think you'll have to think much about and this is another question that's come from the fans okay who has been your favorite player from kerala blasters um as a teammate or when i was there why don't you tell us both I would have to say West Brown because of his personality and character and um, and yeah. also it was a great opportunity to play with Berbatov for me for my experience because I had been following them both so I would pick those two Okay Guri you coming to India which was your first time outside of Europe you already touched upon you know you had probably heard about the Hero Indian Super League and you knew where you were coming and all of that but how impressed were you with the crop of indian players that you saw over here yeah exactly i didn't know anything about because you can see it here and I, when i'm watching football i'm watching premier league spain yeah. and italy maybe yeah so i didn't know anything but there were a couple of players really good players like if you take santos for example and he's a really tough opponent in trainings and he's a great captain and all that so there was i didn't know what to expect but i was kind of impressed by many players how good they okay. were the reason you mentioned that of course you know when you were talking about kerala blasters and of course when manju bada is on you have to mention sandeesh jengan so through us through manju bada and through kuri rani's off the pitch send out a message right now see where it's recovered i mean from you so what message would you give sandesh your connection went actually a little bit so I, what what were you saying sorry <laughs> okay i'm saying through manjapada what message would you give today to sandesh jing and especially you know he's coming out of injury and you know he missed all of last season unfortunately yeah. what would you say to him I would say to him that he's uh he's one of the greatest characters I've played with. He's a great captain 
And he's one of those players who will, when you, everybody has injuries and all that, but yeah. he's one of those players who's going to come strong at our bit. And I, I know he will. So I don't have to say it to him, but I hope he will get a speedy recovery. And, and I wish to meet him again. And hopefully he has a really good season after he's fresh and, and yeah. uh, recovered. And I believe in, uh, he will co- become a stronger player after an injury like that. You know, someone's actually, thanks for that message to Sandesh, by the way. I'm sure he'd be very happy hearing it. Someone's actually asked if you would be interested in signing Alex with Kerala Blasters someday. That's your tenure. <laughs> Absolutely. <time. laughs> I'll come with him. You get two for one. <laughs> <laughs> that would be your first time ever where we'd have the father and the son both playing in the same club. And hopefully you'll still be playing in that time. We might just get yeah. you here as a fan favorite again. Yeah, maybe. So it's. It's it's great. Now, again and again, people are asking about the Indian players that impressed you the most. But I like one of the questions that came in. Someone said, which Indian player would you choose if you had to pick him for Iceland's national team? If if Santos was uh, recovered, I would pick him. Wow. Because he's a, he's a tough opponent. And in training, he was always 100%. And... I like yeah. that attitude he showed, and uh, yeah, I'll pick him. Wow, I'm sure Sandesh is going to be very happy hearing that. Sandesh, we're listening to this, or so eventually when you do listen to this, come on, these are big words coming <laughs> from Goody. Thanks, Goody, on behalf of him, of course. Okay, so um, the Hero Indian Super League, when you came in in season four, it was a certain way. And ha- how have you seen it progress over the last couple of seasons? Now we're about to start season seven, hopefully, in the coming future. So tell me, what do you make of the progress that the Hero Indian Super League has made? The Indian players, the fact that they're getting more opportunities now. What do you make of that? I think because... Uh, it's it's uh, it's a young sport in India compared to other countries. I think you know yeah. how how big it is, mm-hmm. and the more time the Indian players get to play, and and from the youth system, like in Iceland, mm-hmm. we have my son is training almost every day with my club, and it's a really good youth system. So if you get to train as a kid for two hours a day, five times a week. From yeah. from your from your five years old till eighteen, and then you go to yeah. the the real clubs. Um, I think it's going upwards all all the time. It's getting better mm-hmm. and better and better. Yeah. And soon you will see. Give it five years, ten years. You can you can have a really good player. Of course, I'm, you know we, we're players. sure it. We're sure of it. The future is ex. Extremely bright for football here in India, and the way it's growing now, with you know, and especially with, with fan clubs like Manjapara, the kind of support that they've been giving, it's just yeah. it's it's just on the up, and it's great now. So, Vidhi, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, which I want you to answer really quick, if possible. So don't go go thinking about it like you're still thinking about the Indian talent. But here's the first question. Okay. What was your favorite dish to eat when you were in Kerala? Naan bread and tikka masala. Naan bread, <laughs> naan and tikka masala in Kerala. Yes. I'm not really sure if that's a local Kerala. I mean, it is an Indian. Typical no, Indian but I dish, eat it. Of course. It was at the hotel. I eat it every time. I ask for it every time. Like naan bread and this chicken with tikka masala. Uh, not too spicy because I can't eat too spicy food. Yeah. But, I mean, the boys in Kerala Plus, the Indian boys, they were eating peppers. Like from a plastic bag, and I, and I tried it. We love I had it. To, I had to drink two liters of water just to smooth my tongue because I couldn't <laughs> handle it. Two so, liters of water? I'm, yeah, okay. So there, you never be dehydrated if you eat those peppers. See, there you go. You keep drinking water. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a good thing. Yeah. Okay, another thing. Tell us some locker room secret, like an incident that happened in the locker room that you, you've never told anyone about. And other players have never told anyone about. Tell us a locker room secret. These are the fans. They want to know what's going on off the pitch. I mean, when 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 things are going good, uh, everyone is happy after the game and they sit down and laugh and all that. But when you lose, you get players who yeah. want to win. They get angry. And I actually once broke a door because I was so frustrated. So when I-
I walked in. I just kicked the door open, and I you broke, broke it. You broke the door? <laughs> yeah, because I don't want to lose. I want to win. And when we lost, I broke the door, and I got a little punishment for that. But I don't want to. What lose. was the punishment? I had to pay like a small fine. It was okay. <laughs> okay, it was it was worth it. You just vent that anger out, and it's nice. You're so emotionally invested in in the game. Yeah, you want every game. You don't want to lose. That's the yeah. Thing. Okay, the first time you tried Indian food, did could you handle it? The I mean, could your stomach handle it? There's a there's a phrase called Delhi belly where a lot of people that come from abroad can't really handle the Indian spices. Could you? Yeah, I actually because we had, we were staying at a really nice hotel and you yeah. could choose everything you want. You know, there was a lot of uh, there were Indian food. Sometimes it was European food. But I always went for the Indian food because I love Indian food. When it's uh, when we go out and shop food, you know, takeaway, we always pick Indian. And wow. I I don't like like I said before cheap because it goes. I can't handle it. But mm -hmm. if it's like medium, I can uh, eat everything Indian, <laughs> especially the okay. naan bread. Especially the naan, of course, we love it. Mm. It's not. It's Exactly healthy for a footballer, but once in a while you can cheat. It's fine. All right, Goody. Everyone's saying Yumi is here, so give out a big message for what do we call him, Mr. ISL himself, Mr. ISL Ian Hume. What's your message to Yumi? He's here. Yumi is uh, again. I would put him next to, of course, West Brown because he was a great teammate. He was always willing to help you. I was a new player there, and he just. You know, he was ready to do everything for you to try to make you feel good at the team. It, he helped yeah. me a lot, and unfortunately, he got injured when I came there. Uh, we would have been great together when we, I think, we played one or two games, and then he got injured. Yeah. And I would have loved to play with him. Great human being. Maybe you'll get a chance to do that someday. Yumi, this is a big shout out to you too. Come back. Goody will come back and then you never know what a nostalgic moment for everyone in Manjupada yeah. that would be. Can you imagine? Then we will win the league. No question. <laughs> oh, that's what everyone wants to hear. Definitely going to win the league. And if anything at all, the fans deserve it. Season in, season out, the fans absolutely yeah. deserve it. I'm sure. Okay, so Midun... Midun wants to know who was your roommate and tell us funny moments with with the person who was uh, sharing the room with you. So, when I first arrived, uh, Lucky was my roommate. You know, uh, I think he has left Kerala Blasters now. Mm -hmm. But when I arrived, he was sick. I had to sleep in the same room, and he had like fever and coughing and all that. So. I needed to change room the same night because he was sick. <laughs> so we were in separate rooms, and I never had a roommate after that. But on the on the road, me and Lucky were together, and we we had a good time, and we watched some movies and and relaxed, you know. So it, yeah. was, it was fun times. Sure, it was fun times. It's going to be fun times always. It's football at the end of the day. It's a hero Indian Super League. All times are fun times because it's just it's the best. Goody, you know, since you just mentioned on the road, you, know, you guys were partners and everything. So just tell us about some of your experiences on the road when you were traveling around India. I mean, you went to places like Northeast. It's gorgeous over there. It's beautiful. Hmm. So tell me something more about about you know your travels around the country. Yeah, actually, the guys in the team were making fun of me because I always had my phone, like taking pictures and videos. Because everything I saw was new for me. I went to, like you said, northeast, and you can, you always see new experience. And Mount Everest, of course, is close to northeast, and the Himalayas, all that. So, for me, it was. I, I sometimes thought I was almost dreaming because it was so unusual for me. And if I show you outside. How Iceland is, it's this is totally different. Yeah. And and I love new experiences. And uh, India was unbelievable. It was great experience for me. Wow. I I saw st sometimes elephants on the streets. 
we don't have elephants in Iceland, so I um, I had never seen yes, an elephant before. Yes. You know, I've heard and, a lot of uh, players who come, foreign players who come here, talk about this. We see elephants walking down the street, and it's such an amazing experience for them. Yeah, uh, we were yeah. driving the bus, and I look out the window, and there's an elephant next to me. I was like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it was a great, great time. It is. It is. Uh, you know, even um, Bra- West Brown's wife, Leanne, was here with their three daughters, and I went out once to Fort Kochi, and we went to a couple of places around. And they were loving these sites, and the elephants are so well decorated, right? They yeah, have these yeah. these lovely colors about them and everything. It's such a beautiful sight, isn't it? Beautiful. And then yeah. a couple of teammates who went to the beach close to Kerala. I don't yeah. remember the name of the beach, but it was a it's a beautiful beach, and you can walk along it. And the sun is setting. I have a lot of pictures that I showed my family, and they want to go there as well. I have to remember what the name of the beach is in Kerala. Do you know the name of it? He's asking y'all, the fans. He's asking all this question. Can y'all guess the name of the beach that he's talking about? Because he can't remember. Come on, let's see if you guys come up with some suggestions. Maybe he'll recollect. In the meantime, Goody, mm-hmm. um, William William Sachin wants to know whether you remember your name Balatan. Balaton. Yeah. Is that some name that you remember from? Uh, I'm known for a bad memory, so don't take it personally. But no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so none of those questions from from there. But I will ask you another one. Someone's wanting to know if you had to compare Kerala Blasters with a Premier League club, which club would you would you compare it with? Which Premier League club would you compare Kerala Blasters with? I mean, when I played there, we have to compare it to Manchester United because we had two of the biggest idols, my idols there. So let's let's compare it to Manchester United. You All agree? Right. You agree? Um, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm here to ask you the question. Somebody, when you interview me, maybe you can take over off the pitch and then you can ask okay. me those questions. But now like it's that. your turn. I will Okay, so another one is who was the quickest player in the squad when you were there? Me. Okay, nice answer. There you go. What about uh, the recent players? You've been you said you've been keeping in touch with you know the previous season and how it went by and the young Indian talent that's been coming around. What do you have to say about Sahal Abdul Samad? You've obviously seen his progress. I think it's like, you know, a couple of it's always the same when. It takes a couple of years to become a great player, you know, and yeah. you have to go through all this experience. You know, you have to play the big games and you have to be stressed before a game and then you learn to handle everything, you know, how to deal with a certain situation. And yeah. that's what's happening with him and all these boys that they're learning year by year, you know, to handle the pressure and becoming a better player, train hard, you know, do the weightlifting, do the running, all this. And it's just a bright future for many Indian players, and I hope they yeah. will, I, I will see them shine through. You know. Yeah, yeah. Sahil is just such a hard worker, and he's. I'm sure his future is extremely bright. Yeah. If someone wants to, oh, the same guy is asking again. William Sachin, you're asking too many United questions, but okay. If you could be the Man United coach, who would you sign this season? I'm going to twist it. If you could be the Man United coach, who would you sign from Kerala Blasters? Who would I sign from Kerala Blasters? For Man United. Okay, again, because I have to pronounce it right. What is the name of the striker who scored so many goals this season? Ogbechi. Ogbechi, do you say? Ogbechi. Ogbechi. Yes. You just call him Bart. We call him Bart. Bart? Yeah, Bart. Okay. okay. So you want Bart sign to sign for Man United? Yes, let's do it. Transfer <laughs> now, today. Done deal. I think Bart is going to stay with Kerala Blasters. I think he's very happy <laughs> there. And I think they won't let him go. The yeah. Manjapara fans will not even let Bart go, even if it's to Man United. No, Bart stays. Okay. He stays. I'm, I'm sure you guys agree with me. Come on, everyone, the fans out there, don't you all agree with me? Bart has to stay. He won't let him move. But now, because you said that, um, why don't you say something in the local dialect? Can you say something, anything in Malayalam? Come on. 
Absolutely not. You have to give me a hint. <laughs> what, what did I say in the beginning? I said something. I can't remember. You said, you said hello. You gave a greeting. You said hello. Yes. What should I say now then? Well, say hello again because there are lots of uh, new fans that have joined in. Okay. What did I say in the... In the... You don't remember? You have... No, <laughs> I can't remember. You said Namaskaram Kerala. Namaskatum Kerala. Namaskaram Kerala. Namaskaram Kerala. That's right. All right. So everyone's really, really happy. Okay, guys, um, I have to let Goody go in another 10 minutes. So any other questions you all want to send in, please, please really hurry about. You know, I've been trying to not look at these requests, but now there's so many of them. Goody, I have to say everyone's wanting you to do the mic and clap right now. I know it's hard. Everybody's <laughs> asking for it. They just want to read. Do the Viking Club. Down in times like this. Come you on. You meet other people. When you do the Viking Club. Okay, let's, so let's do it like this. Do it. We're going to do it with you. Come on. Okay, so the only thing I'm going to do is this. And then the people at home will do this. Yeah. Okay? We can do that. It's people at home. And, people at home. And, we do. You will have to do the clap as well. I will only do this because this is what I did in Kerala the first game. Okay, so you when, go when twice I and I, I do once, right? Yeah. Okay, okay let's, let's do it. Let's do it just, just a couple of times, okay? Not more. Okay, okay. guys, I will do join it faster. us. Got it. Ready. Let's go. Ready. Great job, great job. You did it with really. Oh, man. Oh, everyone's clapping with us. You know, we've got all these Next fans. Next time I will do it at the Kerala Stadium. Say that one more time so we can save this forever. Say it one more time. Goody, next time you do the Viking clap, you'll do at it the Kerala stadium. at the stadium. All right. We're getting so many of these claps coming uh, in. I'll... Goody, this was... Go on. Yeah, because I, uh, I want to bring my family there and we will see a game, we will support the team and then I can do the Viking Club. It will be good. I'm sure it will. It's always amazing. You know, just that, that my God, the feeling of being there, the ground below our feet shakes when yeah, um... Kerala Blasters score a goal in Kochi. The ground below your feet shakes. And I'm standing yeah. there and I have my mic and my clipboard and the ground is shaking. That's sheer passion. It, yeah. I know it's unbelievable. So come on, send out a goodie since this is Manjapada's handle and, you know, they're the ones who wanted to talk to you and everything. Send out a message to these amazing fans. I think uh, I can say with, uh, honestly, this was my greatest time in my career when I played for Kerala Blasters. I had the most fun in my career. Mm -hmm. um, like I said before, when I walked out to the stadium, I could hear the screams and noises. And when I walked after a winning game, everybody wanted an autograph. When we went to the mall and we were surrounded by fans because they wanted pictures and autographs. Yeah. When we traveled to uh, Northeast or wherever, there were fans there. They had traveled. Yes. So yes. The whole experience for me, you have to understand, was a great fun time and I've talked about it with so many people that this was my greatest team, uh, experience of my career wow. and uh, I'm not lying so yeah this is my message keep going and and keep up the good work because you All give right. so much energy to players with this you know, you, you suck the energy in when you have yeah. so good fans you, you feed off the energy from the fans yeah when you're, you're on the pitch your confidence goes like this up when you yeah, can hear yeah. the screams and uh, it's really hard to explain. Yeah. So that was your message for Manjapada and all the amazing supporters of Kerala Blasters Football Club. And overall, Guri, everyone in the Kiro ISL is also missing you. So come on, give a big shout out to all the fans and we need more and more 
people to now start supporting football because we want football to grow in this country and the hero isl is the best way to do that it's the best platform to showcase talent to build talent so send out a message to all the fans of the hero indian super league yeah it's the same as with kerala you have to support your team you have to go to the stadium you have to celebrate the goals you have to be outside the stadium you know build up the the fun around it because for players to play in front of so many audience it's so yeah. this is what the football player wants he wants to play for passionate yeah fans yes uh, football without fans is nothing so exactly when you, when you have the fans and you and you feel and you tuck, uh, suck that energy in you become a better player so if you want better players it's up to the fans really to give that energy to them yes and uh, i'm looking forward to follow the isl and hopefully i can return to india to to see a game myself and just wish it with my family and then i will be a fan myself Yay! We really, really want you back. So it's it's time to sign off now. Thank you, everybody. They've been sending in some really tough questions, which I'm going to ask you one last one because this is so tempting. And this person's been sending this question over and over. So the last question. Sorry, Guri. I apologize, but I'm not sorry to ask. Um, if you had to choose between Ogbeche and Hume, who would you choose? Anyone? Sorry. Hume, my man. How would you? <laughs> I'll just you me. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you so much Guri for doing this. We wish you all the best from everybody from Manjupara from Kerala Blasters. Thank you so much for talking to us and joining me on Off the Pitch. Before you go, the last thing Guri I want you to say is once a blaster, always a blaster. Once a blaster, always a blaster. We know that. Thank you Guri. Thank you so much. And I will catch up with you very soon. Maybe another appearance very soon on Off the Pitch as well. Thank you. We wish you all the best and good luck in these trying times and going forward and hopefully we see you back in India very soon. Nice talk to you. Thank you. Love to the fans. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you everyone Manjupara for supporting this initiative of um, off the pitch with kuri irani thank you so much now i have to tell you all about the next live that we're going to do it's going to be on tuesday same time 8 o'clock and it's going to be oh my god what do i begin to say it's it's someone you love even today you'll absolutely love him we all love him and how can you not this is just so amazing what a legend of a player and uh, he's never ever gone live on social media ever His first appearance on live on social media is going to be on off the pitch. So, guys, Tuesday, eight p.m. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you again on Tuesday. Bye. Thank you, everybody. Mwah. Big love and stay safe. Stay at home. Take care of yourselves. My best wishes go out to all of you and your families and loved ones. Thank you. Bye.